Hi guys, so I know I haven't updated on my pregnancy in the past five weeks, I want to say. I think the last time that I made a pregnancy update was actually at 29 weeks. So I am currently 34 weeks pregnant and I have a ton to update on so I've wrote stuff down so I don't forget anything. But I'm going to just start off with 30 weeks. At 30 weeks, I was feeling amazing. Um, things were going great. I felt normal, kind of like second trimester, you know, everything's good. Your body still feels okay. So I was still doing good. I had mild fatigue, but nothing too crazy. And um, I also had some cravings. I was craving frappuccinos jalapenos and veggie delight sandwiches from Subway. 31 weeks, I started having some pregnancy anxiety, pregnancy fears about things like my water breaking early or premature labor or something going wrong with my pregnancy, um, which I think is pretty normal in third trimester. Um, I think it's normal throughout a lot of the pregnancy just because there's so many things that could go wrong. And I happen to be one of those people who overthinks everything, so pregnancy makes it like 10 times worse. Um, but <laughs> that was one of the things that I was having problems with. I also started having stronger Braxton Hicks contractions that were pretty consistent. I mean, I'm not, not consistent as in timing because they're far apart, but they were pretty repetitive throughout the entire day and they didn't hurt it was just um, tightening it just felt like tightening so just Braxton Hicks but there was a lot of them I washed her newborn clothes at 31 weeks and I hung them all up and put like socks away and all that stuff so and I did baby blankets as well so I got a lot of her stuff cleaned and she was still not moving very much and I don't know if I've mentioned it in the rest of my pregnancy videos this pregnancy but she really hadn't been moving much this whole pregnancy and I'm not quite sure why that is her heart rate was always in a good range so I don't think anything was wrong nothing ever looked wrong but at the same time she just didn't seem to move very much and I don't know why and that is the week that we decided that we were no longer going to be naming her Coralyn and I know a lot of you guys really liked that name but I don't know this pregnancy has been like really really difficult to choose a name since we know it's our last baby and we had second thoughts about it and talked about it and decided that we liked another name more than that one but I'm not gonna say that name until she's born in case we change our minds again because goodness and at that point I was still feeling good aside from the Braxton Hicks contraction at 32 weeks I had my OB appointment and I was at 32 weeks and five days um, but prior to that OB appointment, my mom had just randomly asked when it was over if my belly had dropped, um, which is significant, and you'll see why in a second. I had my birthday, and Bryce and I had our fourth anniversary, which was pretty exciting. We went out to Applebee's and had some dinner together without the kids, which was nice. She started moving a lot right before my OB appointment like the day before and it was huge like huge movements something that I'd never experienced this pregnancy before with her and I thought that's a good thing because you know baby's moving that's that should be a good thing and so I went to my OB appointment and found out that I was one centimeter dilated 
Her heart rate was 136 beats per minute, which is still in the average range, so that's fine. But she had flipped to be transverse. And at 26 weeks and five days at my ultrasound, she was head down facing my spine like she should have been. And so she flipped from the optimal position to transverse, which means she's lying sideways in my stomach and it's not good. At 33 weeks, um, everybody in our house got the cold. And by cold, it started off as a cold and then everybody reinfected each other and Emrys, or not Emrys, Asher and Kaden both got croup and Emrys got bronchitis and a double ear infection. <laughs> and Bryce and I just had a cold. Luckily, it didn't turn into anything crazy, um, but it's lasted a long time. And I still felt the huge movements that I'd been feeling the week before. And I started having muscle spasms in my left calf in the middle of the night, which has been pretty... <laughs> it's happened three times now in the past week. I... I did start having period cramp contractions. And I don't remember that in my previous pregnancies but it felt like I had regular like Braxton Hicks contractions but it, it had period cramp crampiness with it I don't know how to explain it but it felt like period cramps I went to the chiropractor and I found out that she's she was still transverse and that was yesterday I want to say yeah that's that was yesterday so I found out she was still transverse and they did the Webster technique um, if you don't know what that is, it's just a technique in, for chiropractors to help baby turn to be head down. And it has a pretty good success rate. Okay, so this is the TMI part. So if you don't want to hear the TMI part, skip forward like 20 seconds. But I also, at 33 weeks, started losing my mucus plug. I lost two parts of it. And then with that, I also had a lot of watery discharge moving on to 34 weeks I still have lots of movement and that's today I'm 34 weeks today I still have lots of movement I am starting to have some pressure in my cervix but I can tell that she's still transverse so I don't know I don't know why that is um, I'm still having a period crampy Braxton Hicks contractions I have had a loss of appetite today this week it's just seemed to go down um, I lost another part of my mucus plug which doesn't really indicate anything just maybe I might be dilating a little more um, I did start breaking out if you guys can tell um, which couples with the fact that my hormones feel like they're fluctuating pretty crazily today so I think that might have something to do with it my hormones are just going nuts and last but not least, I've been having trouble catching my breath. I feel like she's up really high, um, but I don't know. But I do know, I do know that she is still transverse because I can feel her head and I can feel her legs, and they're both sideways. So that is pretty much everything leading up until now. From now on, I'm gonna be doing weekly updates because I know like 35 weeks in the last like the last five weeks till your due date get pretty crazy and especially since she's transverse I want to keep you guys updated on what's going on there and so I will be doing weekly videos starting next week and hopefully everything goes well and she turns when she's supposed to I do have an OB appointment on Monday and I will be 34 weeks and five days and if she is still transverse, they will send me up to get an ultrasound to see what's going on. Uh, potentially, she could have, I could have high flu level, fluid levels, um, cord issues, placenta, I don't know. There's a whole ton of, of reasons why she could be where she is right now and isn't turning. So they're going to probably check that out. Well, they are going to check that out if she is still transverse on Monday. So hopefully... On Monday I will go in and she'll be head down and everything will be perfect 
and I won't have to worry about it. I think I'm gonna insert some of the footage from Halloween since I really did not get much footage yesterday. So enjoy guys and I hope you have a good week. <laughs> Ooh, look at you! Ooh, look at you! Ooh, look at you. 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 Ooh, look at